Okay, here's how it happened. We moved into a new house. I know this sounds weird, but I found a secret passage under my bed. And there was another world down there called Under. And I am king of the whole crazy place. That's Loopy and Vernon. They help me run my kingdom, sort of. My dog Gus, he can talk in Under. That's popular. She's neat. Cliff, he used to be king. Auntie First and Bob Wire, the bad guys. Always trying to invade Under or steal my crown. You wouldn't believe the stuff that happens down here. Or maybe you would. I had to go toss him out right now. Just march out there and give him the boot. And I will, too, as soon as I pass a new law. Whoa. Whoa. From now on, no pink bellies, no wrist burns, no wedgies, ever! King, which I was, we wouldn't have to schlep squumps. I mean, how humiliating is this? Schmed. Oh. One lousy little break. That ain't too much to ask for, is it? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. One lousy little break. All right, maximum reticulating power. Now we're cracking. Vernon, what are you doing? My riftulator side. <gasps> and look at that beautiful rift. It goes right around under. We're unattackable now. I don't know, Vernon. I thought I was unattackable in my tree fort. Ahem, a small flaw in the defenses. You. Uh, yes. Point taken. I think the best defense is to make friends instead of enemies. Then you don't have to build the fences. Oh, listen to little Mr. Sunshine. Here's the best defense. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. What in the name of Hamish Macbeth was that? <laughs> Seems I opened the rift all the way down to the horrible caverns. <laughs> Are? Night sliders, nasty slavering thingies with bad posture. They'll come lurching out when it gets dark. Uh, what say we close the roof now? Yes, that's probably best, sire. Nice try, Vernon, but I think you'd better come up with another defense. Agreed. So let's stash the key somewhere safe. I don't care where they stash it. We're gonna snag it, ain't we, Flags? You're, You're the, the boss, boss! This little baby's gonna put me back on top! T 
two to the ribs, one to the jowly bit, and two to the brisket. There. Locked away safe inside Marvin. Nobody can get at the Ripulator key now, sire. Tire? Reminds me, he wrecked my ever so lovely cake. Yes, I've got a few things to get off my chest as well. <laughs> Coast's clear. Ow. Huh? Knock it off. Frags, help me. Play. <laughs> Watch and learn, boys. Two to the ribs. My balloon beast busted. My wheelbarrow sprang, and it's all your fault. And my cake flopped. And my riftulator was ill-conceived. You budrick, you. It's all your fault. Oh, King coming through. Oh, Shift the side, you git. It's all your fault. What are all of you doing? Blaming the Pudrick, sire. We'll stop it right now. And two to the brisket. Right. <laughs> Ain't lost my touch. <laughs> oh, look at the little Pudrick. Isn't he cute? I suppose, in a useless cat like way. You all ought to be ashamed of yourselves yelling at this poor little Pudrick. But, Sire, that's what he's for. He's sort of a blame sponge. And when things go this right, you have to blame somebody. Not if it's your own fault. From now on, nobody blames the Pudrick, and it's your job to make sure of it, Loopy. Oh, hey, Sire, this is a less good idea than you might think. Do it. I know what it's like to get picked on. <laughs> ah! 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 <laughs> that felt like my rifulator rifting. But that's impossible. Let's find out. And remember, Loopy, be nice to the Pudrick! Right. Nice, Pudrick. <sighs> <sighs> oh, boy. Big Bob is back in biz. Hide the key before the Schmidt turns up. No, please. Ah. Okay, boss. You want I should hide it in a fish? Course in a fish. Where else would you hide stuff? Sheesh. You big hairy Pudrick. Now look what you did. Shush. You're not supposed to blame the Pudrick for stuff he didn't do. But he did do it. There you go again. Finally, the authorities turns up. Great Spargo! If we don't close up the rift before sundown, the Slithers will monster up under something awful. Okay, Bob, hand over the Riftulator key. Yeah, unless you want a bit of this. Ooh, yeah. So? You want the key? Give me the crown. Never. Oh, okay, your choice. I guess we let the night sliders come up to play. <laughs> What'll I do? Clearly, abject surrender is the only option, sire. Oh, listen to Braveheart here. No. Oh. Well, guess I'll go get buffed up for my coronation. I'll be waiting, Schmed. What in the 
the name of Brigadoon is that? That is the sound of an unblamed Pudrick. The Pudrick? Uh, uh, but it was. Uh, how did it. Unless you blame a Pudrick, they monsterize and become quite unmanageable. <laughs> and nobody's blaming the Pudrick while I'm around, as per orders. Um, maybe we should get back to blaming him. I don't know, sire. When they get that big, it's hard to hold their attention. <laughs> Whoa! Now he's really gonna be cranky. <laughs> okay, here's my list of things to do. One. Find the key for the Riftulator. Two, close the rift before it gets dark and the sliders come out. Three, blame the Pudrick back to size. Four, get Cliff the heck out of my treehouse. But the last one's not your problem. Well, if we're gonna get started, we need somebody to draw off the Pudrick. Look no further. The Pudrick can smell me miles away. <laughs> Yahoo, Pudrick! <laughs> Oh, boy! Oh, boy! <laughs> <laughs> Monsters to the left. Monsters to the right. It's terrier time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll put off terrier time for a few minutes. <laughs> key, or else you know what. Uh-huh. Uh, refresh me? Okay, uh, uh, garg, uh, borrow, the... Does that help? Hmm. I think there's something wrong with Vernon. The night slithers? They come out after sunset, hint, hint. Oh, right. Night slithers. <laughs> but I'm still worried about Vernon. Let's just split up and find the key, okay? Looking for a key. Hey! Ah, ah, found your soap. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> 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 Haven't found it yet! Time available for a hiding key equals X. Intelligent quotient of hider equals. Hmm. Frag. Frag. Zero. Blah! Right there. Uh, but back to the drawing board. Leave it long and back, will you? You know, sort of country and western. Okay, Bob, you win. We can't find the key to the Riftulator. Give me the crown, you get the key. You got something stuck in your teeth there! <laughs> and away Bob went! This 
ironic. How do you mean, boss? Whoa! <laughs> you know, ironic. Ow! No! Oh. <laughs> Sweet Macy! Make him stop it! <laughs> you do it. No, you won't. Don't worry, boss. Uh, we'll run for help. Uh, do something! <laughs> Gee, Bob, I'd love to, but without the key, well, you know. It's in a fish in Gone Lake. Of course, everybody knows a fish is the best place to hide stuff. <laughs> Visible water. Ooh, what a nasty concept. I'd never see the bath coming. How'd under get an invisible lake? It used to be a big hole, then it got filled up by invisible rain. There's uh, no point asking you anything, is there? <laughs> Bet the key's in that one. No, no, that one. Wait, 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 wait. How about that one? You net them all, I'll shake them out. Okay. <laughs> Come here, you little... <laughs> Does everybody hide stuff in fish? Can you think of a better place? Neo right, once more people with passion. Our underwear is biting and it's all your fault. <laughs> Nose hair, ringworm, road soap, politicians, lawyers, taxmen, your fault! Huh. We've frisked every fish in the lake, sire. And the sliders will be coming out of the rift any minute! Hey, what about that one down there? Hmm. The key wasn't in any of the other fish. Why would it be in the last place we look? That's just incredible, eh? Huh? Hang on, Russell! <laughs> <Whoa. Yeah. laughs> Let me see you there. Oh, oh hi. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> You're a bad little Patrick, aren't you? <laughs> yes, you are. Yo, Egghead! Help! Oh, my situation ain't improved here! Got it! <laughs> Easy, Loopy! Sorry, Sire! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Why do bad things happen to twisted people? Enough already! <clears throat> okay, so far we've got it is so ordered by King Russell, etc., etc., that from this day henceforth, etc., etc., there shall be no pink bellies, no wrist burns. Good! And no wedgies ever signed King Russell, etc., etc. Hey, I'm kinda caught in a crack here. Wedged in like. <sighs> 
You guys better on Wedge Bob. But, sire, it's his own fault. The law has to apply to everybody, or it's not fair. Off you go. Well, I faced down two sets of monsters today. And then there's Cliff. Aye, and if you don't take a stand, there's nobody to blame but yourself. Right. So let's get my treehouse back. Spoken like a true king. Last warning, Cliff! Get out or else! Make me, wedgie boy! Right. Yeah. He's toast! Yeah, I know. What's up, Russell? Cliff's up in my treehouse for about another ten seconds. I'll call you right back. Hey, Clifford! <laughs> get out of my brother's treehouse right now! Gotcha! I'm gone. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you better run, Cliff! <laughs> Guess we showed him, huh, Gus? King Russell's word is law. <laughs> uh, little brothers, they're so lame. <laughs> <laughs>